Welcome back to daytime. I was talking about some about some coffee there with uh, with Joyce Maine from the Cancer Society. So I decided, you know what, Joyce, if I can't get the cup of coffee there, I'm going to bring cups of coffee here. And we have the Beaver Rock Roastery. And joining me, we do have Dan Bokma. 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 Close I knew enough. it. Uh, it's 50-50 chance. <laughs> All day, it's been the other 50. So thank you very much for being here and Thanks bringing us some coffee. And this yeah. is what we we're talking about, the pick-me-up in the middle of the show. So this is very, very local coffee, isn't it, Dan? It is. We're actually the only roaster in Barrie that uh, offers our coffee to the public. Uh, we're fairly new. We've been about six years in development of each of our eight blends and uh, only on the shelves for the last month or so. So this is a facility where you roast, you package, uh, as well as what else do you do? Well, yeah, we bring in the raw green beans. We roast right in house. Uh, we grind and we package into the single serve coffee cup formats that are uh, compatible in your Keurig machines. Cool, I love my Keurig. It's, <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the morning uh, and that's what gets me going. <laughs> so when we talk a little bit about this coffee, uh, you've been very passionate about coffee. You've been mixing up the beans for years yep. for your family <laughs> and friends. You were giving them as gifts and then someone said, hey, you should start making this. Yeah, selling it. absolutely. Uh, we've been encouraged to get into business for a long time, but uh, we just kind of were waiting for the right opportunity and we found that the single serve market was the right time to try and come in and uh, we feel we're offering something that wasn't currently available, a really fresh cup in the uh, Keurig format. So that's one of the differences between us. Because we have a small facility mm -hmm. and we do the grinding, the roasting, everything in-house, we're able to package in a very finite amount of time. So right. we like to uh, think that people actually taste the freshness in every cup. And you say it's, uh, what, freshness redefined. Freshness redefined. That's I love our slogan. that. Yeah. That's a fantastic <laughs> slogan. So I want to try some of your coffee. Uh, how many different flavors do you have? We have eight different blends. Uh, that's part of our launch. We are bringing out more blends in uh, the upcoming months. But uh, to start off, we wanted to try and develop a flavor for everybody. Right. Um, everybody has a different taste, but especially when it comes to coffee. So we really feel that uh, no matter what kind of coffee drinker you are, you'll be able to find a flavor with Beaver Rock that you like. And what I love is that they, I usually only get two choices. I get maybe the breakfast blend and then a dark roast. I don't, I've never seen so many different varieties that I'm able to, to try. So let's try some here. Um, morning Rush. And how, how is this change with the beans? Same bean, right? Uh, no, different oh. beans. They come from different parts of the world. Um, it's like I'm taking a shot. Yeah, <laughs> each blend is specifically formulated to maximize the roast that it comes from. For example, you're drinking Morning Rush, which is a mild roast. Yeah, um, I would really now, like this. Actually. It is one of our three mild roasts. Uh, it's the one with the strongest kick, so it's very popular. Um, we also have a breakfast blend that's uh, more of a mild, uh, a lot lighter tasting. And that's what's interesting, you just, like these are mild, but mm. they're, give me more of a kick. Yes, the morning rush has a bit more caffeine in it than the breakfast blend, kind of hence the name morning rush. So, Woo, yeah, good exactly. to go. Yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite actually. But when it comes to the, to the caffeine, uh, it's, you said that actually the darker it is has more caffeine. Uh, I, sorry, quite the opposite. It's the darker that has the least caffeine. Oh, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. With yeah. the roasting process, um, I mean, you're cooking everything out of the beans, caffeine included. So as you come down to the darker roast, that's where you're going to get less caffeine. So the uh, breakfast blends, donut shop blends, as they call them, are where you'll find the, the biggest kick. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I want to try this one here. And the thing is, is that we are drinking this black. Yeah, I often encourage people to try it black. Um, a lot of people, I mean, they're used to their double doubles with their sugar and their cream. And uh, a lot of coffee can be hard to drink black. It's very bitter, um, not all, but uh, hence why you These know, are not it all goes back to freshness. It's, yeah. you, you can really taste a good coffee without being bitter and it all comes down to freshness. These are not bitter at all, like <laughs> not even for a second. And actually other competitors, people of coffee that I would drink sometimes, um, you would have to put sugar. And yeah. this, it doesn't taste like I, I could actually just drink this with milk. Yeah, I used to, I mean, I was uh, double double before we got into roasting and then once we kind of got into this, I was able to start drinking it a lot fresher, so. You were a, a quadruple quadruple, weren't you? Or triple, At one time, I used to go to Tim Hortons and order a four by four. So that's, uh, it's uh, to be able to drink it black certainly says a lot. And he really is drinking it black. <laughs> like that's black coffee in there. So there's there's no no fool in there. But I mean, that's when I went to your, uh, you know, on every corner coffee shop. So they're 
not really designed to be drank black as I found it. Yes, well, <laughs> I'm really in that as well. And and I would like to be able to, if you're wanting to cut off, uh, cut out maybe some uh, some of the milk, you know, dairy, mm -hmm. if you want to cut out sugar, if you want a coffee that you're able to drink. Now, it's interesting, can we do, um, ca when you talk a little bit about decaf, Yes. There's you, you really opened my eyes in, in regards to decaf. Yeah, what a lot of people don't know about the decaffeinating process is for the most part it is done with a chemical solution. So, um, I mean if you're pregnant or somebody who's trying to avoid caffeine for certain reasons, right. drinking a decaf that's been you know diluted with these chemicals, it can actually be a lot worse for you than the caffeine was. We actually use a Swiss water decaf, which is a company out of Vancouver that their decaffeination process uh, hydrates and dehydrates the bean with natural water and uh, actually takes 99.9% .9 of the caffeine out and uh, no chemical byproducts remain so it's really the safest decaf coffee you can drink. Interesting, <laughs> I had no idea. See, you're opening my eyes to many things. This is your medium roast. That's our medium roast. That's also one of the most popular blends. Um, a lot of people who are kind of frequent the corner Still donut not shops. No, nope. I like to think you're not going to find a bitter wow. anywhere on here. So. Yeah, we had a I lot wish of I could feedback. share it with you at home. <laughs> okay, so we have the dark in here, right? I want to try the darkest roast. Okay, is yeah. that it? This is the intense. <laughs> now, our intense roast, um, the best way I can describe it is it's a dark roast of coffee that doesn't taste burnt. Um, you do get a lot of burnt aftertaste in many of the dark roasts on the market. So we've had a lot of good feedback with this particular blend that they didn't know they could have the dark roast and uh, not have that burnt aftertaste in the back of their mouth. So I love that. Yeah. Yes, and, and you don't you don't want that aftertaste. Uh, coffee aftertaste is horrible because I have never tasted coffee that doesn't have that that aftertaste or that bitter. So that is fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us, Dan. I want to try this one. This My is pleasure. A, an intense blend with less caffeine. Yeah. I like it. Cheers to you. Thank you. And all the best luck with Beaver Rock Roastery.